operations and troubleshooting. Once you fix the centrifuge along with your power connection, then please read the notes completely so that you understand how the centrifuge to be used. And once you open the centrifuge, you shall find a note inside which indicates that where you have to put the tubes accordingly so that the centrifuge does not shake. Now, if you are running two blood collection tubes into certain RPM for certain time, please put the tubes into exactly opposite diagonal direction. Just for example, if you are having two tubes, please put one tube in 12th position and the tube in 16th position. Now, if you are having more tubes, like say for four tubes, you can put that again in sixth position and third position so that all the tubes are exactly in the diagonal direction. Say if you are having three test tubes, then you can put the test tubes into position 4th, 8th and 12th in the same condition like 12th, 4th and 8th so that the centrifuge is balanced and it does not shake. Now let us come to the error codes of the centrifuge. Once you are running the centrifuge, you may get some error codes also. You should be aware about this, why this is happening. If you are not operating the instrument properly, then there, there is a chance of giving four error codes in the instrument. Like say for example, electrical centrifuge gives error codes like E1, E2, E3 and E7. Now E1 is majorly for imbalance of the rotor. If the rotor is imbalanced, then E1 error will come. All the error codes comes in the timing sector. And another very common error code is E3. Now E3 comes when you are switching on the centrifuge and the centrifuge is in run. During that time, if you are opening the top cover of the centrifuge, there is a possibility of E3 coming. Say for example, now the RPM is set into 3000 and 5 minutes timing is set. Now say I want to switch on the machine and the instrument started rotating. But suddenly I failed something to be done and we just opened the top lid. You can see the mesh instrument will give a buzzer and E3 mark will come. Now once E3 comes, please do not get worried. Please close the lid and press on the stop button. Once you press on the stop button, automatically the RPM will go up to zero. And once it goes to zero, the instrument will give a beep sound that the timing and RPM got reset. Then you can switch on the start once again and start the centrifuge.